famous spiritual healers in the world rarely talks to anyone on camera. John of God agreed to sit down with me under a mango tree on the grounds of the casa. A group of his patients gathered to watch. father is a monster. He took me to his room, took my clothes off, and I found it very strange. Then I asked him, what are you doing? And he said, I'm going to perform a spiritual work on you. That's when all hell broke loose in my life. A friend of mine introduced me to John of God. Three months after I joined, he started abusing me. I was 16. He'd take my panties off and do it. That's how I got pregnant. I asked for his help and he gave me some medicine. I thought it was a form of treatment, but it was meant to kill my baby. Well, the wave of testimonies there began after one activist, Sabrina Bittencourt, came forward with her allegations against John of God earlier last week. Uh, she claimed that he was heavily involved in international child trafficking and received large sums of money and gifts as payment. Women were used as sex slaves. They were usually black, low income, and lived close to John of God's illegal properties. In return for food, they were impregnated, and the babies sold off to the UK, Australia, and US. The girls were aged between 14 and 18. Well, on Saturday, it was reported that Bittencourt had committed suicide, citing threats from John of God's followers, but also her long struggle with cancer. Another whistleblower, Amy Bianc, was among the first to publicly speak out. She's an American who was working as a tour guide in Brazil and used to advertise John of God's spiritual center as a tourist attraction. She shared with Arti some disturbing tales of what she allegedly saw happening there. He hurts them in so many ways. And I, I actually just was crying. I told everybody could tell you have to understand it was a very remote part of Brazil so it wasn't like you could go to the local police station and report this um, I told the workers and they were horrified because many of them had been fooled also but it's it's become way way bigger than just sexual abuse it's um, sh human abuse and then I got death threats. So I was told that a white woman in Brazil can disappear and nobody will ever find her. Um, that I should go, I should leave. I, I shouldn't talk anymore to anybody about this. Um, this was from people who worked directly for Joao. The workers who are there, they knew what was happening. And I'm relatively sure uh, a number of the town people knew. And after, after it broke on the news, um, there were signs. I mean, I would see people standing outside the door. He had a, a show right outside the healing place. He had a special office um, where he would do what was called private healings, okay? I talked to one of the workers, and she told me that um, she started to cry, this worker. And she said, oh, my God, I... I I wiped um, ectoplasm off the mouths of little girls, and now I realize it was ejaculate. She, but her mind was so uh, taken up by the, the view of the cause that she thought it was ectoplasm a part of the healing. <laughs> 